Good day and welcome to Google Slides Mini Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to resize your rows and columns in your table. So this is a very simple process and a lot of people obviously want to have their tables to be rearranged to suit the data that they have in it. So I'm just going to show you very quickly how to resize your rows in your table and your columns. And there's a couple things I wanted to point out, uh, a couple things that stumbled me when I first started using it. So I just wanted to show you and it should be very quick. It shouldn't take any time at all. So just to start off, a lot of times uh, when you have a, a table full of data, it might be too big to fit on the slide or you just want it to be a little smaller. Now the way I like to do it in many cases, I'll leave the first row to be a bit bigger in font and I'll reduce the remaining rows down to a smaller font and then reduce the row size to better fit that smaller font. So I'll go ahead and show you an example of that here. So just say this, uh, these three rows here, I want to have the data uh, separate from the first header or first column, first row uh, to be a bit smaller and the rows to be a bit smaller as well. Now. When I first tried this, I ran into a problem and I had to restart the video and do it again because I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. So this is a group should be a great learning uh, option for you as well. So if you run into the same problem, at least if you've seen it here, you know exactly what the problem was. So what I did he previously was I went in here and I changed the font size down to a, very, a small font such as this. And then I wanted to change the row size to uh, shrink it to match the font. So what I did was I went here and I tried to drag the column smaller, but for some reason the column wouldn't change. I dragged I could go bigger with it, no problem whatsoever, but it wouldn't let me go any smaller than what it was originally. And it took me a few minutes to realize why it's doing that. And the reason it's doing that is because of these blank columns over here. Even though there's no data in these columns, the font is still set to 14 that it was set to previously. So it would not let me shrink it any smaller because these columns are still uh, ready to accept any text or data at 14 point. So in order to reduce the rows down, you know, all rows have to be the same font or smaller. It will only let you go to this, the largest font that's in there. So, so in our examples, if I wanted to go ahead and decrease the row, I have to change the font size on all columns. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and change it to 9. Now as you can see, the first row shrunk. But the remaining two stayed the same. So you need to resize them if you want them to be equal. And one way that you would do that is just go ahead and choose this little option here when you put your mouse over the line and drag it a bit smaller and repeat the same thing here for each of your lines. Another thing you can do as well is if you have your lines and you're eyeballing it and it's a little off, you can highlight the full rows and then you can right click and choose distribute rows distribute rows so that will make every row the same size so go ahead and click that and now all three rows are the same size you can reduce it down a bit smaller or to the maximum let you and highlight them and distribute rows again and they will equal even up same thing applies for if you make them bigger if you wanted these rows to be one of these rows to be uh, bigger, but you obviously want them to be even. You make them larger to as close as that you want them, and then right click and choose distribute rows, and it will even all these these rows the same. So that's what you do for to resize your rows and columns is pretty much the exact same thing. So to do with the columns here, just say for example, the last two columns was numbers. and you didn't have this column here or this column here and your table remains to be nice and wide. So for example, in most cases, if you have a header that's text and you have numbers, it's not going to be evenly spaced like this. 
lines. A lot of times it'll be spaced more along the lines of one over here and one over here and then nice long space here. So you got lots of room on the left to type in your role uh, information and then you have the room for your numbers. But your number rolls is not even. Now if this is what you want, perfect. But if you want two of these rolls to be nice and even, so you, what you would do is the same as we did with the course word columns. What we did with the rows, you would repeat with the columns. So you choose, make them as close as you want them to be as equal as possible, and then highlight the two columns, or three or four, or whatever number, and then right click and choose distribute columns. And now it will resize these two columns only, leaving your first one nice and wide, and these two will be nice and even. So that's that's pretty much it. So that's how you resize your rows and columns in Google Slides. I apologize, I stumbled a fair bit on this video, but you, I'm sure you got the gist of it. And if you have any questions, certainly post them below in the comments. And as always, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be creating more videos for uh, Google Slides and, and more videos on what, what else to do with the tables. So just keep, uh, keep subscribing to my videos, and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.